Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, and welcome to my review for Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. This was directed by George Lucas, and at the time, this was the last Star Wars movie to be released in theaters. And this was the movie that was going to tie the prequel trilogy together. This was going to show what happened to see the inception of Darth Vader, how the Clone Wars ended, pretty much setting up everything that we would see in A New Hope. It is fairly safe to say that the Star Wars prequels are not well liked. Even today, they're still greeted with a bitter taste in a lot of fans' mouths. But, no matter who you ask, the wide consensus is that Revenge of the Sith is the best of the Star Wars prequels. You can come across a fan who is like, the prequels are cinematic travesties, like there's no way I could like them, and in the same breath they'd say, three's not bad though. Episode three has held a very special place in my heart. It was the first Star Wars movie I ever saw in theaters. I went with my mom and dad, and I was, wait, quick bit of math. And I was eight years old. And having rewatched it for this review, I can safely say that yes, this is the best of the Star Wars prequels. Despite Solo and Rogue One also existing, I still would watch this prequel over all of the others. Firstly, for the most part, this is the best acted of all of the Star Wars prequels. There are some cringeworthy moments, and we will get there when we get there, but overall, this is the best acted of all the prequels, and it has the best scenes as well. Two of my favorite scenes in this movie are when An when Padme tells Anakin that she's pregnant. And that is an incredibly subtle scene, and I know subtle is a word not often used when describing the prequels, but this, this was an exercise in subtlety that I appreciated and the Opera House scene, which basically plants the seeds for the portrayal of Anakin Skywalker and the birth of Darth Vader, which in which the Emperor tells the tale of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. This movie also by far and away has the best action and lightsaber duels of the prequels. Yes, while the Duel of the Fates from Episode 1 was very good, I still would rather watch the ending duel between Anakin and Obi-Wan, or the space battle near the beginning over the Duel of the Fates. It also has excellent music by John Williams, but of course, it's John Williams. But not my favorite, but the best scene in the entire movie is when Emperor Palpatine goes, Execute Order 66. The Order 66 scene is terrifying. It really is. It's basically a several minute montage with no dialogue and only John Williams' haunting score in which the clo in which clone troopers actively turn on their Jedi generals and shoot them all down. The scene is capped off brilliantly when Yoda, like the Yoda, the all-powerful Yoda, nearly collapses clutching his chest. Like he senses through the force that the Jedi have basically fallen. It's, it's one of the best Star Wars scenes of all time, in, like, in the, his, in the history of that franchise, and I will die on that hill on that scene. However, there is some prequelitis that does run throughout, and yeah, there is some awkward dialogue throughout. I say some, and I emphasize some, because we're not talking about an Attack of the Clones or situation like that. This movie, for the most part, has some really good dialogue and a lot of great scenes between the actors. It's not like they're reading something off a page. It's like they're communicating with each other how normal people would do. But then there's a scene where Padme says, Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Ugh. It is in instances like that where I do truly feel sorry for Natalie Portman. She is an incredibly talented actress, she has won Oscars, she's good at her job. But there is only so much that an actor can do without saying a line as dumb as Anakin, you're breaking my heart. And again, with as much context as possible, it's clear that Padme is in distress because she is pregnant, you know, she she loves this man and she doesn't want him to do this, 
but any other line there could have worked. Hell, even no dialogue at all would have been perfect. But of course, Lucas just couldn't leave well enough alone and had to inject one of the dumbest lines in Star Wars history in there, Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Which is immediately followed by one of the other dumbest lines in, in Star Wars history, it's over Anakin, I have the high ground. Which, the whole high ground thing has been beaten to death and I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but yeah, Hayden Christensen goes full ham with the I HATE YOU thing. It gets really bad. And this next thing isn't really a bad thing, but it's just something that's bugged me for years. When Emperor Palpatine gives Darth Vader his name, it's basically like, From this day forth you shall be known as Darth Vader. I remember sitting there and I'm like, really? Like, that's how one of the biggest badass villains in the history of cinema is given his name just off the cuff like that? Like, what the hell? And now, I'm not saying that Darth Vader's name should have been like a name passed down through generations. I'm not saying that. But again, like, something could have been done to make it more badass than just Darth, okay, uh, Riker, no, uh, let's see, Champagne, no, uh, Vader, oh, Darth Vader, that works, Vader, like, something should have been done to improve that, that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is that one of the most badass and most evil villains in the history of cinema, his name should have come from a more gravitas-worthy source. But even though this movie is not perfect, I still maintain that it is my favorite of the Star Wars prequels. I'm going to give it a great rating. It is by far and away the most watchable of the prequels. It is the best composed. It is the best shot, the best acted, for the most part the best edited, it has the best action, the best music, pretty much everything that the prequel should have been was contained into this one movie. But that is all for me guys, thank you so much as always for watching, I've got more Star Wars coming to you over this weekend and I hope you all enjoy it. My name is Ryan Cam and I'll see you in the next one.